Hello everyone, and welcome back to a Let's Play of Thief 2 with your host, Valid. So some of you may be wondering why we're on the objective screen at the beginning of the level, and why we're at the store, and why I'm going to be going into the game without going into the store. Well, let me just explain something really quick. Does this look any different to you compared to what we had before? If it does, let hey, me explain the city why. Looks almost bearable from up here. <laughs> There's a setting that I completely forgot existed in the options menu. It only applies to two levels in the entire game. It's this one right here. I had the fog off the entire time. So there are probably some people that played the original Thief 2 way back in the day and looked at this and went, why is it so dark? Why can you see everything so clearly? Well, this is why. If I follow this road north, it should take me right to the Mechanist Tower. And there are probably even more people that might look back through photographs of this mission or anything like that and wonder why it's so bright. There's fog! It only shows up in this mission and one other mission. Um... And it changes a lot of the mood, it... Yeah, it's... it's a thing. That being said... I'm going to continue playing with the fog off. Mostly because it doesn't change a huge amount aside from the actual appearance of things and makes the lighting a little weird, in my personal opinion. I don't like it very much. However, that doesn't mean that there isn't plenty to talk about when it comes to the fog. But we'll get to that later. For now, let's jump in the water. So it sounds like we have a child in here already. I am not having an easy time with this, am I? There we go. So that should open that up, very good. God, that, that ancient getting out of water sound. The ancient water splash. I love it so much. Wait a second. Oh, but it's just not fair. The season's most ballyhooed social event, and we're not even invited? I am a Rothschild. Don't they understand that? Don't they understand how incredibly important I am? Shh, shh. I know, I know, dear. But there will be other banquets. Besides, it's not as if we intend to join their silly religion or anything. No, it's not that. It's just that, that, well... Yes, my snookums? Oh, Pumpkin! The Mechanist invited the Bumblesins! The Bumblesins! I mean, they haven't been in the inner circle in years! Now, Frederick, don't you think you're overreacting just a tad? No, 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 no! I am Frederick Juniper Rothschild III, and I deserve more recognition than those commoners. Oh, I know what we'll do, my sweet. We'll throw our own ball to the abyss with those mechanists and their private affairs. Besides, they're just looking for supporters. We'll have our own banquet and invite everyone but the Bumblesons. Would that make you happy, my love? Oh, yes! What an absolutely capital idea! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the caricatures in this are so good! They even call one of the characters a Rothschild. I wonder... Who made that whoops. noise? I wonder if that has to do with anything... These old buildings make too much noise. <laughs> in real life, because the Rothschild is an actual, very wealthy family that uh, is known for doing some not great things. 
I don't remember this part. This looks new. Interesting. We can go there later. But the fact that they're being portrayed as being so childish. And especially the guy is just like, how dare they? And the woman's all reasonable and everything and has some really ridiculous suggestions. <laughs> Uh, so freaking cute. Oh man. But anyway, I was going to talk about um, something, and I've completely lost my train of thought, as per usual. Mm. Guess it was nothing. Uh. That's right, we got frog beast eggs. I was wondering, like, when did I get these? No, we, we're here with an obligation to Victoria to go out and figure out what the mechanists are up to. That's the whole reason we're out here in the first place. It's been a little bit since I played. Well, I don't think there's any way for me to actually get in there, but there is a bit of if I money. See one rat, I will just scream. Oh, lordy. But this is doubling back to this area, because this is where the Book of Ashes was, isn't it? Yeah. So, funny thing about the Book of Ashes, I've never actually seen this, but apparently this is a reference to um, a movie called Army of Darkness. I'm not entirely sure what that movie is about. I kind of wish. <gasps> We're fine. I kind of <laughs> wish that I had watched it before. Um, before sharing this little detail, but considering how long this mission has been already, we're probably going to have another three-parter. So I'm assuming. I'll have time to actually watch the movie before we're done with the mission. Because we haven't even gotten to the Angel Watch building yet, where they're actually throwing the party. I've been through here and knocked everybody out. And I was through here as well. Yeah, I'm really curious where that path from the water tower leads. And I don't even actually need the... the tube. I can just go up here. And then I should be able to climb on top of here, get to these boxes. What was that? Made that noise. And Breeze. climb. There we go. There we go, that's better. And there is a ladder here as well, so I can hop down here if I so desire. Oof. Ladders in this game, man. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if he turns around ever, so I'm just. That was close. We'll figure it out as we go. But yeah, the fog. Let's let's see how it looks with the fog, actually, because I, I just want to see. Holy! What's there? Yeah, that completely changes the mood, doesn't it? Maybe we'll leave the fog on. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's leave the fog on. But um, apparently. The fog in this game was pretty bright to begin with, and the devs actually apologized for it later, believe it or not. Am I going to be able to do this? Let's quick save. Hello. There's an intruder here! That timing was so unfortunate. <laughs> That timing was so unfortunate. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh. Oh shit. 
<laughs> this is hard, dude. Game? Can I? Can, why can't I? Why can't I swing? Who's there in the shadow? There we go. <laughs> I guess you can't. I guess you can't swing your weapon while in the air. That's a little sad. There we go. Okay, toss you in the corner with your guard buddy. Yeah, this really changes the mood, huh? But um, yeah, going back to the fog, the devs actually apologized for the fog and how bright it made the level because it's supposed to be nighttime right but you have these clouds and you have all this haze and everything so ironically as time went on the fog in this game actually broke where you could have that little fog setting on and it wouldn't do anything and it didn't matter what kind of cart. You have to remember, this game came out when Voodoo Effects was still a thing. That brand has been dead for... <laughs> for almost two decades, I think. This was back when NVIDIA was still a, was still a little... tiny... Uh, chip manufacturing company, and there were still... ATI was still its own separate company. I'm, I'm like, talking about all these different things that people probably don't even know at this point. But seriously, there used to be multiple graphics card manufacturers. It wasn't just NVIDIA or AMD and now Intel. Assuming that ARC actually publishes. We'll, we'll see. <sighs> but uh, I think it's Alt... Yeah, it's Alt W. Okay. Don't really want to set myself on fire. So we'll put that out. Okay. Stop tapping with me, please. Stop tapping with me. <laughs> Stop it. Is there anything else around here? I don't know if there is. Let's let's go in here and check anyway. Nice. Is there anything in here? No. Hello? There you are. Ooh, this is tile. There we go. The noises they make. Oh my god. This is great. This is so loud. That was just a goblet. We'll put that down there. Looks like some drying herbs, maybe. So once again, getting off topic and back on. So as graphics cards got more and more advanced, the fog function actually broke. And there was a whole bunch... Part of the reason that the patches even started for T-Fix and DD-Fix and all of that was to fix some of the issues that the game had running on newer systems. But then you have the issue where other things are breaking, like the fog and whatnot, so they're having to scramble around trying to figure things out. NVIDIA, it was actually a surprisingly easy fix. It was something to do with Direct3D, and you just had to toggle a, an option in there to make um, something about fog tables, I think. And you just turn that on, and voila, you have fog. ATI was a much harder, <laughs> a much bigger issue. And uh, apparently required its own piece of software in order to actually get the fog to function again. P. We have to stop meeting at the Alchemist. This is the third time that woman has come by to press her nose against the glass. I don't know whether she's ogling Grimmed or just wants a love potion from old Jack, but it's giving me the shivers. Can you do anything about it? N. Don't know who P and N are, but... Huh. Guess we'll find out. Oop, there's definitely someone else here. Is that you? Oh, nothing. I'm too tense. You're a guard. I heard huh? that. Show yourself. 
I'm not kidding around. Right, I forgot there was tile here. What are you doing here? He says. No. Where did he go now? He'll Come never find me. <laughs> I love this. All good. Whoa. Now it's like I never existed. <laughs> Despite the fact I held the door. Ah. Die! Whoa. There we go. Come on, coward. Face me like a Excuse me, sir. Six excuse me? Excuse me, sir? Excuse me, sir? Well, this is a problem, isn't it? How many flash bombs do I have? There we go. <laughs> Stupid thing. What if I throw the flash bomb just directly at his face or at this wall? Dickhead. All right, that's better. Well, we got a healing potion out of that, so I'm not too upset. Uh, where is it? Here we go. And that might bring us back to full? Where are we, anyway? Yeah, that brings us back to full. Cool. Yeah, lots of time being lost here, so forgive me. Where? A couple more of the uh, poison barrels. Or toxic barrels or something, I don't know. Where is this? Where is this? So I can get down there. Ooh. Oh, this is the other side of that. Okay, I know where we are now. Guess not. Okay. Well, now that I have an idea of where we are, can I get down here safely? I don't know if I can. Okay, so that's good. Uh, let's do some of this, why don't we? So is this the Angel Watch building? Perfect. Pardon me, sir. No, this isn't the Angel Watch building, otherwise we'd be able to get in. So we knocked out the guard there. No, 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 Well, shit. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, noise. What the hell? That was weird. I bugged out like that. These open. Oh, this opens. Look at that. I'm glad I double checked this. Now, where does this go? So many secrets. I'm kind of glad I learned about the fog, though. Cause that's that's one of those things that just a lot of old games have problems with. Sometimes it's just it doesn't even have to be big bugs. It can just be little things like that. 
where a shader breaks, like in Halo, um, converting... That wasn't even an age thing, though. That was just an issue with porting, where uh, there was some sort of, like, shimmering force field-looking thing on the original Xbox release of um, Halo Combat Evolved when it came on when it came out for Xbox. But when it came to over to PC, there was a specific shader in there that broke and it didn't render anything. The sad part is in the anniversary edition of Halo Combat Evolved, they based it on the PC version. And so they added smoke instead of the really cool looking force field effect that was in the original release. So, a bit of a disappointment, but it happens. 343 calling themselves true fans when they don't know that. Anyway. Stargazer's Journal, 67th evening of observation. I can stand it no longer. Since my first examinations of that distant globe, that glorious blue jewel, I knew my time here in the city was at an end. For how could I possibly remain content in this quagmire of filth, corruption, and religious fanaticism when there exists a whole new world, just within reach, ripe for exploration? The means of my departure is almost within my grasp, despite a recent setback. Brellick was a fine young servant and a dedicated laboratory assistant. Oh, the entrails, the... The entrails. Oh, the anguish as I removed his entrails from the plaza's great statue. And worst of all, I realize it was my miscalculations that cost the lad his life. How? How could I have been so stupid? The scientific principle is sound, I am sure. Using my patented sunburst device, an explosive of the highest magnitude, a thick wooden box can travel the distance needed to reach the stars. How foolish of me to forget the protective layer of lead. But the past is exactly that. And it's time to move on. I have hired a new assistant, a drunken old crone named Hilda, who will make the test flight. The sunburst device will simply be placed under the box and ignited from a distance, and Hilda will soar to that beautiful new world. Isn't this the same gal we'd read about earlier? who was in the one building that, I guess, gave a key or something like that? Once there, she is to communicate with me via smoke signal when it is safe for me to proceed. <laughs> she is, of course, a bit nervous about the proceedings, but a pint of aged gin should be enough to put her fears to rest. To the stars. Look to the stars. Look to the stars, my friends. Well, space travel has been a thing for many, many years. Or the dream of space travel, at least. So... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so that's open now, after the absolute ruckus that we started. What the... Oh! Okay. I guess we have a sunburst device now, for some reason. I'm pretty sure they had sunburst devices in... Devices? In... Devices in the original game, though, didn't they? In, uh, Thief 1? Because I remember us doing something with that. Why can't I get in here? 
There we go. That was a little janky. This is up here? No. No. I could have come here the whole time. Dang, this place is really interwoven, huh? That's crazy. I could have come out here at any point. Or up here. That makes the skybox so much better, though, with the fog. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, and that's another thing. I think I think it was the star specifically that NVIDIA has had a really hard time running for a long time with the uh, skybox and everything. The thing is, though, now, ever since New Dark was released, I'm pretty sure it was around the time of New Dark being released that... A lot of the old issues that plagued um, the Dark Engine with Thief, Thief 1, Thief 2, and uh, System Shock 2 have mostly been resolved, as far as I know. Which is quite nice. These are, these are... Did you say something? Very... These are classic games that deserve to be enjoyed by everybody. They're absolute <laughs> pinnacles of history in gaming. It's Yeah, I I can't fawn over these games enough <laughs> to be honest. I mean, the the fact that this game came out in 1998 and I s or 2000, sorry. And I'm still just enjoying it this much. Just with a few texture upgrades, and it's it's not even anything super fancy. They're not 4K, they're not... They're not world-shattering graphics. But it's enough to, to have you look at it and go, yeah, this is playable. Gameplay over graphics every time, man. It makes a world of difference. So I think... No, I can't hide. Yee. What's that I see? That was close. Well, seems clear. Yeah, for now. Wow, I'm surprised that reached. All right, let's get you in here. Okay, so that's another guard taken care of. Then we can go up here. <gasps> nice. <sighs> I hear another guard, I'm just not sure where it is. Okay, let's try this <laughs> without dying. Because <laughs> I don't remember if we ever got in here. This looks unfamiliar to me. Well, maybe we did, because I'm pretty sure we would have seen loot or something in here. This is uh, not nearly as exciting as I was hoping it would be, but that's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. Drop here, jump here, hop over here. Oop, don't fall off. That's a statue, that's a statue, OK. And here's somebody over there. How far do we have to get to Angel Watch, anyway? Wow. Holy cow. Holy cow. This map is massive. Ooh. There's 
somebody in there. So this is apparently Louise Lay's estate. Hmm? What the? The hell? What? What the hell is going on here? Was that guy supposed to disappear? Isn't this the Keeper logo? Hold on. Garrett, we hope the information we have provided you thus far has been useful. You do well to seek information at Angel Watch. But beware. All is not as it seems at the Mechanist Tower, and Karis is more aware of your actions than you may think. Still, there are ways to outwit him. That was a keeper. How? Ah. That's how he just disappeared like that. Okay. Oh! Well, I don't really want the noisemaker arrows, but thanks for that, I guess. Where the hell did he go? I mean, they are the keepers, to be fair, so they have... Extremely good sneaking capabilities, you know, collectors of knowledge and all that, and spies of the world, but... Oopsie. Okay. Ooh. Oh, the air is getting so filthy lately. Okay, this is wood, good. So there's no, another woman in there by the looks of it. No need for alarm, ladies. Just passing through. <laughs> Gotta love the quips by Garrett. Mm, hot noise. <sighs> Thank you for the money. I'm assuming Lady <laughs> Louise. Although you aren't, you aren't actually named, so... Lady Louisa, okay. <clears throat> you and you and your servant can chill for a while, keep each other warm, you know. It's a cold, cold night after all. Actually, let me, let me be a little bit kinder and put you guys next to the hearth. <clears throat> so you both can stay warm. How about that? There we go. You ladies have any other uh, lovely loot around here that I could maybe confiscate? This isn't Thief 2014, otherwise I could take the paintings too. <laughs> uh, I don't see anything. No switches, no switches. Okay. Then let's continue on, I suppose. <gasps> this is windy, huh? This is really windy. Oh! There's Angel Watch. Okay! <laughs> Sounds like we got a drunk guard over here. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going. Give me a sure. <laughs> Are you good, dude? <laughs> what is going on here? What is going on with this guy? Are you okay, sir? 
There's a lot of bottles. Uh... There's a guard down there. Did your friend have too much to drink? Well, that's a problem. Um. Okay, okay, I'm going. Keep a shirt on. <laughs> He's so drunk. I love it. Jeez. This is pretty cool. Wow. Just out of curiosity. Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no, that is actually so much worse with the fog on. Or off. What? Wow. Yeah, that's a sight to see. So, that's the castle of the future. I'll take my tenement any day of the week. Yeah, no kidding. As cool as the architecture for places like this is, it's uh, not the most comforting thing to have a massive seraphim-like thing looking down over you. I think I'll pass. Oh, this is all stone. Okay. Ugh. That wasn't so tough. Maybe tower security isn't as tight as I thought. Well, I don't know about that one, Garrett, but... Don't like being in these pipes. Okay, here we go. Got a little gas torch there. Brethren, the guard on the office door shall be changed upon every three hours, though I trust that our guest shall not be curious enough to attempt entrance. For further precaution, however, Father Karras hath entrusted me with a sole key. Most of the alarms and watchers that protect the tower hath also been disabled, to prevent our guests from causing any mishaps. While I expect the nobility to mind their manners, remain thou ever vigilant. Friend of Vilnia. Need to work on my rolling my R's. It's been a while since I've done that. Let's go check the other way first. So there's a ladder leading up that way. And this is where we came in, okay. So what's up here then? No, no. Hmm. <gasps> the game, please let me vault or something. There we go, that's better. There's another ladder leading off that away. I don't like the fact that there's the sound of metal being walked on, but uh Oop, don't don't do that. Okay, so people are definitely patrolling around here. Okay, we're on stone, so we're good now. Oh, there's a big fire. What is dragonfly flits about? If 
was a boiler, then it needs to be serviced and on. Or it should not be so. I didn't realize footsteps on tile or on metal. Why are words hard today? <laughs> Maybe I should stop and take a break. We have made it into Angel Watch. Let me just knock out one person before we go on. Call an end to the video. Come on. I just want to explore. That's all I want to do is explore. Now. Hello. Gotcha. Had such a lovely voice, but then she went, ooh. Liking some of the utterances that we're hearing. Oh, it's not even from here. Huh. So is, this is a really massive elevator. Okay. Excuse me. Twas the builder that made me so. I am tireless. Twas the builder that made me so. I hate everything about this. <laughs> I think she's good where she is, actually, so I'll leave her be. I hate everything about this. Oh, wait, a little body dump room, cool. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I really hate this. I don't like the big red light on there, so I'm assuming that has an alarm on it. Okay. Well... <sighs> It's been about 40 minutes, surprisingly. So I think I'm gonna end it there. We've made it into Angel Watch finally. We've explored a few other places. Found out what happened to Hilda, apparently. Poor girl. And uh, yeah, now we're in Mechanist Hell. But we're here. And next time we're gonna explore everything and get the heck out. All the way back through Dayport. But until then, I hope you all have had a wonderful day and enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed playing it, which was a heckin' lot. And hopefully, next time, we'll finish the mission. See what our good friend Karis is up to. But until then, take care, everyone, and have a great day. Bye for now. <laughs>